Hello everybody and welcome back to Ultimate Sims Guides. My name is Taylor for those of you that don't know and in today's video we are going to be talking about how you can adopt a pet in The Sims 4. Before we get started I would just ask you guys to please subscribe to this channel and give this video a thumbs up if you happen to enjoy it throughout any moment in this entire video. You know you could do it now, you could do it later, you could do it now, you know whatever makes you happy. Anyway let's just jump into how to adopt a pet in The Sims 4. So if you have The Sims 4 cats and dogs installed, you're definitely going to want a cat or a dog in your household just for a little bit of extra fun and definitely a lot of extra cuteness. <laughs> so as you can see, we have a mother and her toddler in this house. You know, they have enough space where they could have a dog bed and there's a lot of open area where their dog could roam. So we, we really want to have a pet in this household. So the first thing you're going to want to do when you decide to adopt a pet is either use your phone or a computer to set up an adoption evaluation situation. <laughs> so what you're going to do is you're going to go to hire a service on your phone. And when you hit this, you can scroll down and you'll see all of the pet options. You have sell a pet, but we don't currently have a pet. We have put a pet up for adoption. We don't currently have a pet. Or you can adopt a cat for 200 simoleons or adopt a dog for 200 simoleons. And you're going to see the same options under household and then adopt with adopt a cat and adopt a dog on the computer. So this family really wants a puppy. They really want to get a doggo. So then you're going to see once you click on adopt a dog, this menu here pop up. It'll say adopt dog. You may pick up to three pets and the agency fee is 200 simoleons per dog. So then you can scroll over all of the puppies and all of the doggies. And you'll see like Tammy is a puppy, she's female, and she's spayed. Now if you see that they're spayed or that they're neutered, that means that they are unable to have babies. So you can't use these in breeding animals <laughs> if that's something that you are into in The Sims 4. So like Sadie, for example, is one of the ones that could actually have a baby, but most of them are going to be spayed or neutered. As you can see out of this, there's only three that are able to have babies. So that is something to keep in mind if your plan is to be able to have babies with your animals. <laughs> okay. So you can go through and you're able to pick up to three pets. So we could adopt three dogs if we wanted to. I think that would be absolute shenanigans and I don't like it. Now, to be honest, Tammy is kind of speaking to me with that crazy looking face. So I think we're going to go with Tammy. And once you hit this check mark here, what's going to happen is an adoption agent is going to show up at your house. So you can see here that the adoption agent has appeared. They're going to walk in in their little suit outfit and drop down a pet carrier. This pet carrier will have the pet appear right outside of it and they'll kind of hop around a little bit. And what you want to do during this adoption evaluation is get to know the pet. So you want to go over, introduce yourself, and as you can see they already don't like each other, which is not good. <laughs> um, that's not usually a good sign. So you can get to know them and you'll get to learn some of their traits just so that you know if there's something you don't want out of your dog that you won't get. You know, like this dog is aggressive, so this might not be the kind of dog that you want to adopt. And that's something you might want to consider because you can't see their traits from the adopt menu. Now, when you get to this point, you aren't forced to adopt this pet. You're able to just click on the adoption agent and just hit end adoption evaluation and the agent and the dog will leave because at this point you haven't actually adopted them yet. So we can continue to just kind of get to know Tammy. Um, so Tammy's adventurous and aggressive, and to be honest, that's not really something that I'm willing to have in this household. So we're going to go over, we're just going to end the adoption evaluation right there. So I'm going to go and get her to use her phone and get a different one. <laughs> we're going to bring over maybe more than one dog so we can meet a couple. So maybe Lola, we don't want Tammy, um, Horchata, Sadie, we'll bring a couple over just so we can have you know, a better relationship with hopefully one of them. Lola is absolutely adorable. Let's go introduce ourselves to Lola. And we can offer our friendship, get to know them a little bit. We definitely, the goal of this adoption evaluation is to learn as much as you can. So Lola's active, which I'm fine with. Um, we can praise Lola, offer our friendship, and get to know them again. So they've already become acquaintances. You know, Lola's already starting to like us. Lola is stubborn, which I think is cute in dogs. I don't know if anybody else does, but I love when dogs are stubborn and aggressive. So Lola honestly isn't a good option for us. Um, but I think I'm going to go ahead and just adopt Lola because if I keep doing this, I'm going to go crazy. Okay, so we're going to adopt Lola. When you click the adopt the 200 simoleon button, it's going to say, are you sure you want to adopt this pet? Taking care of a new pet is a big responsibility. And once you hit OK, that pet is yours and you're able to change their name. You can give them a first name and a last name. So we're going to call them Lola Nola. <laughs> Why 
Why? Because it rhymes and that's, that's it. Um, so now Lola is a member of our family and we're able to call them over and do all of that. And then you want to go over and end adoption evaluation so that this person leaves your home <laughs> and gets out. Now, after the adoption evaluation is over, you're able to go into build buy mode and get all of the things that you need for your pet. Now, I do want to note that this process is exactly the same for cats. You also want to get to know them. You want to do the exact same thing, but I just wanted to show with one animal. So you want to make sure that you get a pet feeder. This is the same one for cats and for dogs. And then for cats, you will need a litter box. Any of these options work fine. And then you want to make sure to get them a bed so they have something to lie on. You can maybe put this, we'll even just put it in the toddler's room. Why not? They're best friends. <laughs> and then you may want to get a cat tree if you adopt a cat, a scratching posts, toys, all of this kind of stuff. You get just a toy box to put, you know, in your yard for your puppy. So yeah, guys, that is how you adopt a pet in The Sims 4. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more content like this all the darn time because I am always making videos. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, everybody. Thank you.